quick pop quiz. Here's some nighttime footage from three IP security cameras. Which of these cameras costs the most? The answer may surprise you. Hello installers, today we're talking about IP cameras. We've got a few models here, the consumer brand Reolink, the well-known Samsung WiseNet brand, and a couple of cameras from Grundig. Grundig is a German brand you're probably familiar with, but they are fairly new in the IP camera space. We're certainly excited about their performance, especially for the price point these are available at, and we think by the end of this video, you will be too. So we'll show you the product specs on screen to show you that, at least on paper, these are basically the same camera. Now here's how much each would cost you, and here's the answer to that pop quiz earlier. I know I was surprised when I was testing these, so let's take a closer look at their real world performance. First of all, let's take a look at build quality of each of the cameras. It's pretty clear straight away that Reolink have cut some corners here. Compared to the Grundig and WiseNet cameras, this one feels less robust. Importantly, this camera is not IK rated for impact protection, or at least we couldn't find any reference to an IK rating anywhere on the Reolink website for this model at least. And although it is IP66 rated, you have to look at this ball and socket joint on the gimbal here and wonder how it will hold up against the elements. Both the WiseNet and the Grundig bullet cameras are IK10 and IP66 rated. They're a fair bit heavier and they'll hold their position much better since you'll be tightening them down with Allen keys. Looking to the daytime performance of these cameras, you pretty much get what you'd expect. Quality seems to scale with price. To my eyes at least, the WiseNet bullet camera looks the best of all of these. These images from our warehouse show crisper detail on the boxes and more clarity in shadowed areas. In low light though is where things are less clear cut. On the day we took this footage, sunset was at 9.22 p.m. and this footage was taken right after that. So there's just a bit of light left in the sky, but not much. The Reolink doesn't perform too well here. Instantly switching over to IR, even with a fair bit of ambient light left, this means that if you're hoping to capture color detail, relying on light from a distant street lamp, for example, the Reolink is unlikely to give you what you need. Both the WiseNet and the Grundig cameras are able to produce a color image at this point. But I think it's actually the more inexpensive Grundig camera that steals the top spot in this test. There's more color saturation in and a lot more detail in the shadowed region at the bottom left of the screen. So next we'll look at the infrared performance. And here's some footage from my phone which gives you a sense of just how dark it was when we did this test. There's no artificial lighting near the office, so it was very, very dark outside when we did this. Starting with the cameras zoomed all the way out then, the Reolink camera actually performs surprisingly well. I'm pretty visible, even all the way over at the other building there. Switching to the WiseNet, there's a drop in performance and I actually disappear as I'm walking to the other side of the car park. This really surprised me. Remember that this is the most expensive camera we tested coming in at around twice the price of the Grundig model. And switching to the Grundig model here, we instantly see how much clearer the image is. I'm visible all the way over at the other building there. Taking a quick look at the IR performance with each of the IP cameras zoomed all the way in, I think the Reolink is probably on par with the Grundig camera, which I think is pretty impressive given its price. There's detail in the parking space markings, which the Grundig actually misses. And again, the WiseNet camera performs kind of disappointingly here. So we actually thought maybe we had a slightly faulty camera. So we decided to compare these dome cameras we had to hand as well uh, and test their IR performance. Again, the Grundig model outpaces the more expensive WiseNet model with a sharper image, more clarity in the shadows, and the slightly wider field of view is nice as well. If you look at the data sheets for each of these dome models, these were the most comparable models from each brand we could find to compare. And the Grundig model is still half the price of the WiseNet model. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, 
please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. So what are these cameras like to use and manage day to day? All the Grundig and WiseNet cameras we've looked at are OnVIF compatible, so you'll be able to use these with any other OnVIF compatible cameras you have and your existing MVRs, etc. This is not true for the RioLink camera. You can use the RioLink app, and they're also compatible with the Synology Surveillance Station, which is one of the most popular camera management platforms, if not the most popular, but it definitely doesn't cover all of those bases. Another thing we definitely have to mention is the compression codecs that each of these cameras offers. The RioLink only supports H.264. The WiseNet supports H.265, but the Grundig models, all of them, support H.265+. And this led to some pretty crazy differences in file sizes. At first, I thought the WiseNet cameras just weren't actually recording overnight, but they were actually filling up all of the allotted space that quickly. The file sizes were huge with the WiseNet cameras. The RioLink camera was pretty efficient, actually, even with the older codec, but the Grundig cameras, routinely, the file sizes were the lowest by far, about 10 times smaller than WiseNet footage taken with all the same settings in the same places, recording for the same amount of time. And you've seen the footage. It's not like these Grundig cameras are producing a grainy, horrible, low res, image. The images look comparable or in many cases actually better than the WiseNets. So for businesses or installers looking to get a hold of some IP cameras or to try out a new brand, if you're not quite sure what to go for, I know that the RioLink cameras are consumer friendly, they're extremely budget friendly, but just looking at the build quality, I would not jump at the chance to use these unless it was with a business with a much tighter budget or if you know they're going to be going inside where they won't be tampered with. Their performance really surprised me in a positive way, but I can't see these holding up for longer periods of time outside when exposed to the elements. They can easily be knocked out of place, repositioned, or even destroyed by vandals. Grundig cameras for the price are just so much more robust. The performance at night is great. And what we haven't gotten into in this video, which let us know if you're interested in us diving into this a bit more, is that these Grundig cameras offer all the analytics and advanced software features that organizations with more advanced requirements and security might want. License plate recognition, picking faces out of crowds, all that stuff. So let us know if you want to see a video on that. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. Leave a comment and let us know what you think. The installers we work with who have tried these Grundy cameras really love them. And if you don't use this yet for your networking equipment, just get in touch with us and we'll sort you out with a good price on everything so thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.